So in problem number uh, 31 of section 3.7, we're asked to find the density of a certain region, which is actually the region given in problem number three. It's a right circular cone with vertex at the origin and the circular base of radius four in the plane y equals six. So to calculate the density, um, we use the formula that's given in the previous problem. And it says that the density uh, is equal to the integral of We're given a certain density function um, at y times area at y. Uh, divided by integral from a to b of just the area. Now you can think of this as being, I mean the top integral gives you the mass of, of the region and denominator gives you the, uh, well, this will give you the volume. So that corresponds with our intuition that density is mass over volume. So we know what the density function is. We're given that, uh, given that it's equal to 5y. Uh, we don't know is the area function. So we know that um, we just look at a, a vertical cross section of the cone. We know that at the top, the radius, or the radius is equal to four. So as we you know, rotate this around the y-axis, each cross section is just going to be a circle of radius r. Here it's four. What we're interested in is the radius at um, a certain level y. So if this is um, just at an arbitrary level y. We want to know what um, want to know what this distance r is. Well, we can use just a ratio since this is um, an isosceles triangle. We know that the height is six. So if we just look at the right half, we can see that the ratio of um, six to four. is going to be the same as the ratio uh, y to r. And we're interested in r as a function of y. So we'll solve for r. We get that r is equal to 4y over 6, which is just 2y over 3. So now we can uh, figure out what the formula for the area is at, um, at a certain value y. Well, each cross section parallel to the xz plane is just a circle. So the area is pi times the radius squared, which we just found the radius. So pi times 2y over 3 squared is equal to pi times 4y squared over 9. Uh, we can just write this as 4 pi y squared uh, over 9. Now we go back to finding the density. Uh, well, in the numerator, we have the integral from, now we're going to be integrating from y equals uh, 0, so the vertex, all the way to the base of the cone at y equals 6. So 0 to 6. Uh, the density function is 5y times the area function, which is 4 pi times y squared over 9 and dy. We'll divide that by the integral from 0 to 6 of uh, just the area function. So 4 pi y squared over 9 dy. So in the numerator of this integral is, well we can pull out all the constants, so we have 20 pi over 9, and we're left with y cubed in the integrand, so if we integrate that, uh, we get 1 fourth, so times 1 fourth uh, y to the fourth. 
evaluated from 0 to 6. And it's over, here we can pull the constant out again. We get 4 pi over 9. And this is uh, times 1 third uh, y cubed, again evaluated from 0 to 6. Let's see, in the numerator, uh, let's cancel out uh, 4, and that leaves a 5 pi over 9 times y to the 4th over, uh, let's see, 4 pi over um, 9 times 3 is 27 times y cubed. This whole thing is evaluated from 0 to 6. Now we can cancel out the y cubed in the bottom, uh, and that just leaves a y to the, or y, single y in the numerator. And we can also multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 27 over 4 pi. That gives us 27 over 4 pi times 5 pi over 9 times y. Uh, see, the pi cancels out. Uh, 9 cancels out, leaving a 3. So we get 15. Oh, and of course, we want to evaluate this from 0 to 6. So we get 15 over 4 uh, times y. Evaluated from 0 to 6. That's equal to uh, well, 90 over 4 minus 0. And 90 over 4 is, uh, let's see, 22.5. So we see that uh, the density of this object is 22 over 5, and we didn't, units weren't specified in the problem, but say if we're using standard metric units, then uh, mass would be in kilograms and volume would be in cubic meters. So in that case, the uh, units would be uh, kilograms per cubic meter.